Ten Hag told us Gunnar Hay to address a, press, address a press conference ahead of the game that we're going to be playing against Brentford tomorrow. He has Gunnar Hay to hint on lots of things and I'm going to hate to first speak out onto the injury boast of Martinez Casemiro. He has Gunnar Hay to say many players are set to return here onto the United Manners channel as Man United takes on the side of Brentford that is tomorrow. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're totally watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. And Rokan David is my name and hope you guys are really having fun wherever you are. Continue to subscribe because we want to hit 17,000 subscribers before the end of today and let's obviously follow up the next match in the coming day as we really take on the side of Brentford and the Muslims uh, Ramadan Karim to the Christians we cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ Sunday is on and you all know what is going to be happening on Sunday it's the Easter Sunday celebrations will be done all over the world and these are the holidays of really having holidays in here on to our a hundred percent united channel let's see close to uh 200 likes marking this video as we'll come back to these players now eric ten Hag was first asked on whether there are certain players that are expected to return he said there are players returning they are back on the pitch they are back in the team training we have one more training now but it's most likely that we have some players back in the squad so he has been talking about some players not one player so that means we might see a shocking return of players as eric ten Hag is telling us you know tarel malasia is one of those players that is training with the team back on the grass back in the group training and you never know he might shock us with the return as we play away at brentford casimiro Lisandro Martinez, those are the three players that I anticipate are really gonna make a return. We might even be shocked when Anton Marcia really makes a return because he's not far off from returning from his is it the hip injury that went ahead obviously affect him in there as a side or a player for Man United. Now it shows you that we are obviously having a fully fit squad, but players like Harry Maguire are really not gonna be expected to show up into this fixture because he is really not even training with the team now the big news was when he came out and we talked about lisandro martinez on his return and he said <coughs> that yes there is a chance that lisandro martinez is back in the squad we have missed him every game because he brings a composure in the team a calmness in the team at the same time a winning attitude and he can express he and, and he can express this very well we can transfer that into the team and that contributes a lot to her level so for lisandro martinez even before the international break we are told that he's soon returning and is expected to return as we are playing against brentford now the manager has gone ahead to talk about the attributes of lisandro martinez that he brings to the club of man united he has talked about his composure and calmness that he's really out of this world to me he's the best technically gifted central defender in the world even if you swamp him up with close to five six players when he's having that ball he rarely loses it and guys you've gone ahead to watch lisandro martinez ever since he came into the club of man united tell me the time you've gonna hate to see him really lose the ball he doesn't lose the ball looks like he's it looks like he is the magnet and the ball is the metal <laughs> so unlike poles attract so he really finds himself attracted to the ball a lot he rarely loses it and he keeps going and running to the right the right direction i went ahead and really explained to you the playing style of man united <clears throat> ten hag wants lisandro martinez to obviously do the needful he starts the ball with andrew nana after starting the ball with andrew nana andrew nana either spreads it to the left back if it's luke shaw or to the right back if at all it's um dalo then what dalo does is to play that ball back to rafael veran in the central defense and by the time he plays it to the central defense to the central defender of uh, Rafael Veran, Lisandro Martinez has already gone ahead to invert into the midfield to give us 
three players in the midfield that is Casimiro and Kobe Mainu to obviously be ready to receive that ball and all of those three players are really press resistant and Varane plays it back to um plays it back to uh plays it back to Andrew Nana. When he plays it back to Andrew Nana, Andrew Nana finds space in between the lines to find Lisandro Martinez who comes out to be in the midfield and his press resistance helps him to receive that ball and really find out a line breaking pass because if it turns out as a CDM Kobe Mainu and uh, Kobe Mainu and Casemiro will push further up the pitch and when they push further up the pitch Casemiro sorry Bruno Fernandes will do the same Rashford will do the same, Rasmus Hoyland will do the same, and Garnacho will do the same. That's how Ten Hag beats the press. And in the previous two games I've gone here to see us play, I've seen Eric Ten Hag trying to use Dalo to do that because he has gone here to miss out onto the man that was the main the main point or the main spine for his style of play because Lisandro Martinez is the main spine for the style of play of man united he puts in a lot of effort and he takes us to the levels that we have always seen when he's playing for the club of man united so that's the importance of this guy ten Hag has talked about the willingness to win and the attitude his attitude and willingness is out of this world it has been really rare to find a player with the attitude aggressiveness of <laughs> sorry about Alessandro Martinez and hardness with that quality he is a complete player he was really ridiculed when he came in through because of his size and height but he went ahead to boss very many teams and all those tall strikers by winning very many aerial duels than people never really thought that they, that he could win he went ahead to prove to us that he's a complete defender so his return is really a very huge boost to the club of Man United and I'm just excited you know I came out and really made a statement in the match preview that I don't see a reason as to why we start him in that game you know I see no reason as to why he starts but all I want to see is him on the bench coming in through to play some 20 minutes then when you're playing Chelsea he has to get into the starting level because it's a game where we need to get a win. I don't want us to ask I don't want us to see us drop points in games in sorry with the opponents that Tottenham Hotspur really has and Aston Villa still has because <clears throat> they still have Chelsea and we still have it, meaning that we should beat them and we pray to that, <coughs> that those two teams really drop points when they're playing the side of Chelsea. So that is it coming in from Lisandro Martinez and I'm just excited. The manager has gone ahead to confirm to us that Lisandro Martinez might take part and travel to London. Another team is traveling today. So <clears throat> we'll have to see later in the night who has gonna have to travel with the team and who has not gonna have to travel with the team of Manchester United. Then <clears throat> there is a play I never talked about is Casimiro, but we had a chance we had uh, an account that has always gonna hit obviously break news coming in through from Man United. It's known as the United Insider. They've gonna have to profile themselves as source of info on the squad injuries and team gossip all opinions are my own and these are some of the accounts that are owned by close people in the club and they've gonna hit reveal to us that <coughs> casimiro looks good to play against brentford following his injury two weeks ago so it will be remembered that when you're playing against liverpool i think it was around the 17th right this guy pulled out of this tie and went to be attended to by his doctor in Spain and it has it was precautionary and it looks like he's gonna have to come back and train that's why we sort of it that Ten Hag hinted on to players returning not one and I've gone here to give you the list Malasia Casimiro and Lisandro Martinez I won't be shocked if at all those three make it to the match squad and remember even Eric Ten Hag told us that for Malaysia, he's expected to return after the international break and the international break is over and don't forget that he's going to return so if Casemiro makes it to the double pivot alongside Kobe Mainu I think that will be obviously a very huge boost for us to win that game and I think a team cannot stop us if at all we're having those no team can stop us you know if Lisandro Martinez is back in his central defense Casemiro playing the double pivot with uh, Kobe Mainu 
with Ganache or Rasmus Huel and Rashford available, I believe not him is really going to stop us as a club of Man United. We are going to come out and really beat those teams bad in the best way possible. So for Casemiro to return is a very huge boost for the club of Man United because that experience is needed. In games like this, in the remaining 10 games they're going to play in the Premier League, you need the experience of Rafael Veran and Casemiro, Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford, because there are certain moments where experience needs to take center stage. And we know how Casemiro has been so much pivotal when it comes to scoring set pieces at the club of Man United and making interceptions that result into goals for this club of Man United. So I would like to inform you that he's really important. You know how physical that Brentford side is and how they want to really capitalize so much on set pieces and you know it is that one of the players that wins very many set pieces is done other than Casemiro in there for you so his return is really a huge boost for the club of Man United and we wait to see whether he's gonna be given a starting role into that game because Ten Hag might be looking at different roles for these players to play as he believes any team can any team he flaunts against Brentford can really get the three points, but Chelsea is really going to be a hard game and he might be really looking forwards, getting in some players when you're playing against Chelsea. Lastly, we had a story that really ran all over <coughs> social media platforms that Terrell Malassia and uh, Luke Shaw's season is over. <coughs> Ten Hag was asked to look and said, yes, I expect him back at the end of the season. He's still on schedule and will return to our team. So, Luke Shaw might return to play the last four games of the season. And I think anytime he returns, he will be really important. That's why he's really one of those players that you have to look at and really give him a goal that he really deserves and the quarters. Because there is no at any one point where you really want to miss out on a player like him. All you would love to see is to have a player like him in your team all the time. Best left back, one of the best left backs in the world. And he complements that back four very well. By the way, all we have to do is to keep that back line fit. Dalo, right back. Luke Shaw, left back. Lisandro Martinez and uh, Rafael Veran in the central defense. Because if you're having that back line, you're 100% sure of positive results coming in through from the team. You'll be having a tight back five with Onana inclusive. Then a very transitive front three of Rasmus Hoyland, Ganacho, and Marcus Rashford that can really create a moment of magic anytime you need it. So that's why I'm really excited for Luke Shaw that is going to be returning before the end of this season. Now, I call upon for your reactions into Lisandro Martinez and Casemiro return ahead of the game of Brentford. I welcome in the comment section below, but the manager really has to approve them and see whether they're really ready for action. But I believe Lisandro Martinez and Casemiro are ready for action. Then, um, Luke Shaw, he's another one set to return to the team before the end of the season. And what do you think about all that that we're going to talk about into this video? Rock and David remains my name. I sign out for now. See you later. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. That is to the Christians, the Muslims, Ramadan Mubarak. We sign out.